they're going very well. Obviously, second year, and um, you know, there's a few changes around the place. We've had uh, fantastic support from the RFU around our facilities, around our gym, some new staff, new backs coach, new uh, head of uh, SNC, and certainly we've seen massive improvement in the body shape of the guys. Um, everyone's working hard, but just like everyone else's. But I, I suppose the the big one is that um, we're you know being able to build on what what we started last year. Uh, and with that in mind, you've also uh, added to the squad as well. You have some exciting players coming through. Yeah, there is. I mean, we've got, uh, um, obviously, with Mills Moliano, he arrives, uh, actually arrives today. And then uh, Bundy Aki and Tom McCartney, uh, very, very experienced players that will uh, will arrive end of October at the end of the ITM Cup. So just when the time's pretty tough, um, you know, when the season's on its way, we get a bit of uh, reinforcements. So, um, and then we've got some other guys like uh, young Ni Adiolikin, who's come over from Trinity Club, you know, rugby. And um, um, you know and Shane O'Leary, uh, Ian Porter, so Quinn Rue, they've all they've all settled in nicely and uh, looking forward to it. And of course, over the summer, Robbie Henshaw and Kieran Marmion added to their international experience. Yeah, exactly. And, and we've got some, uh, you know, Rodney Ayew. You know, he he got he got a cap there too. So it's it's a real positive uh, place at the moment, and everyone's just just can't wait to get going, really. And um, but you know. The, the ultimate is that we want to make sure that there's a, a process for everyone to, to succeed and there's a, and play, players to come right from from wherever they are in Ireland to come through and play for the Irish national team as well. So it's exciting times.